Okay, I'm just making this video for Demonic Sweaters. He's really cool talent on the internet. Um, really creative guy. And he was making uh, some sort of tennis balls to make the kick drum. He's a real drummer. I'm, I had my midlife crisis and I bought this original set. It was the DM5. And then I got another second-hand drum brain and a snake cable. And I got various things. I've, I've made some of my own drums here which are okay they don't have quite the articulation but the the main thing was a double kick drum I, I can't play uh but i figured well what would it be like and they're 300 odd pounds or more um here's the standard kick drum and so you get a proper drum pedal at least a pretend proper drum pedal and then you can play into the thing and we can see the trigger on the bottom original so we can play it gently and hit harder yep and if you're a proper drummer you can do this properly now what we see is a DIY pedal, and it's just, uh, I'll show you the construction in a minute and who gave the ideas, or at least some of the ideas, and so now I can just, so you see if we look at the top one, I've got a gentle trigger, I can hit it hard, gently, so you you can play with the sensitivity of this thing and the construction. So let's just pause this and then we'll bring it up. So what is it? Well, it's a standard three and a half inch jack. Uh, sorry, a quarter inch jack. I, I like the Raptor wires. And inside is a bit of neoprene, um, just to act as a buffer, some hot glue, um, and one of these little piezoelectric discs. And I've made it so that it sort of shuts down like that and the act of bashing there is what makes the the um the action or the the, the signal and that transfers down a line and you, you can set the sensitivity but i'm pretty convinced i haven't changed any of the crossovers on this um and then the pedal is a couple of springs uh hot glued into place with a bit of screw uh i've used a piece of leather strap here because i had an old sofa and if you look here you can just see that that desk is an upside down sofa my little daughter who's now 15 helped me to make this years ago um so that was always good fun to make stuff with her um and yeah it's based on this design um same sort of concept uh the only thing is i think you know you just need to make a decision on here you see it's not got the final mating surface in but you need to make a decision on you using this part to do the trigger or what or if you wanted to use a standard drum I don't see why you couldn't, with a standard drum, which might be better, I mean, it's just bashing a beater against the panel. Well, why would you not just make a little right angle um, and use some sort of rubber or something or foam in front and then the piezza behind it uh, and a bit of wall? And that would probably work, except it would put a bit of a moment on this part here, so you might have to do more work. So, so the idea simply is that... Why not use the beating down action? I'm not a drummer, so I don't know how good this works, but, you know, it triggers okay. So this is where I got the idea from. This guy here, Broad the Finn, uh, he's cool. Um, and so he gave the basic idea, and somewhere here I made some sort of templates. These are not to, they're to scale, but they're not the right size. So, you know, it seems like you need a, what is that, an eight, three and a half inch by 12 inch. I, I prefer old money. Three and a half inch by eight and five eighths inch, um, and then some smaller pieces a, a one and a half by three and a half, and a 0.5 by three and a half, and a 3.25 by 3.5 inch. So he gives you the dimensions on there. And what I found was that I bought a piece of eight foot by four foot board, and if you're careful and you mark it up, you can get quite a few of these pedals out of it. So I made four, I'm using two, one of them is being used as the pedal for the mini act this sustain pedal the other one is being used as a drum pedal there and i've got a couple more to use so yeah it, it's quite good and like i said you've got you just plug it into the standard <clears throat> drum oops and then it will oh if i switch it on if i switch it on it will act as a trigger yeah um, and you can build other drums like that, but it was just a bit of fun and, and it might be an alternative way to make a, a fairly quiet pedal. Um, so if that's useful, great. If not, sorry, but hopefully you find it useful. Cheers. Bye.